Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is something very very simple We're going to be getting into some Nike SBs basically just reviewing some pairs right here some good ones to hold on to Also got a pair that I know a lot of y'all been wanting me uh, to review right here So this is the Haritos SB and you know, we'll kind of be getting some details on that also But mainly just kind of like a seller hold video. I know y'all wanted more content on that uh, Some good sneakers to hold on to and that's mainly what this video will be So if y'all want more, uh, you know, kind of sneaker holding content how to how to cop anything like like that feel free to subscribe and like down below if we get to 200 likes in this video that'd be great and also uh if you guys uh want to learn how you guys can cop more pairs like this get more ones to hold on to not uh really pay too much don't forget we're always doing under market deals for members i sold all of these in hype labs so actually a member in hype labs won these for like 70 bucks so don't sleep on the raffles we do under market pairs for members and much more so i hope you guys uh will enjoy feel free to join our waitlist down below and check that out you can also see our website and see everything offered there it's not just the under market deals it's early information in store information in store monitors so you can check that uh, low key flips you can flip online even like amazon freebies you can get like stuff off there for free and flip that you know locally it's a wide variety of things so again if you're just trying to find more profitable items to flip i hope to see you guys there and let's get started all right so the first one we're just going to dive into really quickly here is the ritos sb now i don't feel like it takes an expert necessarily to say these are going to be a good play for the future y'all can see again how that nice canvas material hits on that sneaker you can see it's kind of that green canvas on on, uh, the swoosh right there and then of course around the sneaker around the toe box and by the heel you can see it is a different color you have that same kind of green theme and of course you can see the orange charitos coming out uh of it right there which is again another really nice detail on the sneaker and they also have this unique uh you know detail by the heel same with on the sole again very very hard pair to find right now but one of these ones that of course in the future it's going to be it's going to be very pricey in the future for the main reason that again it was limited think about the fact that not many pairs really hit skate shops you can see actually both uh, of the tongue tags on this one this is one detail because i actually thought one of these said nike sb but both of them uh you can see kind of have the unique uh, logo right there where it's the Haritos logo and then kind of that interesting um you can see they even made the text different for sb uh it's not embroidered on i believe you can see it is it is like you know kind of stitched on and that, that is a nice detail that they added there again having both uh, of these swooshes like that i'll try and get uh, a little bit of a better angle for you guys on that so hopefully y'all can see it right there but very very nicely done pair nike definitely killed the design in a good way this is an amazing pair so shout out to nike really well done and an amazing hold for the future i, I this is size seven again somebody won this pair in hype labs so check us out down below that's really what we do is you know offer under market deals on you know helping you source pairs we're dropping pink foams tomorrow for like 85 per so easy flip locally but the first one i'll mention right here one of my favorite sbs from this year the Fritos sb definitely a good hold if you're interested in you know holding the sneaker but definitely one of the best ones from this year next up i actually do have two pairs uh i believe that might be what we got going on right here or no actually one pair this is a different one uh i'll get into showing you guys this one in a second but this is the gray gum sb definitely one of my favorite ones from that pack where it consisted of the black gum sb white gum sb and then of course this pair right here uh it is actually one of the uh recent ones it's kind of tanked down in price a little bit it's like between 140 uh to 160 they actually might have gone up since uh, you know, by the time this video is out and actually just in the last couple days, they've been making uh, some decent progress, but definitely one of my favorite uh, pairs from that pack. Very wearable kind of everyday colorway, uh, simple kind of style. And, you know, I think it's a safe, you know, kind of bet to hold on to because the recent restocks they've been doing of these haven't really been uh, too many pairs. And I think uh, one rumor they have is that these are going to continue restocking, but we've also had the rumor come out recently that they're going to be focusing on like 2020 SBs and like some 2020, uh, 2021 SBs to restock. So, so stay tuned for that but again another one that i think is super clean right now kind of undervalued in my opinion between 140 150 does shock me uh, a lot again some of the sizes are at 160 but uh, i just think it's one of those shoes that could be you know a lot uh a lot higher in price and it's just kind of uh the main reason i think that's because the, the simple uh everyday kind of style that it you know kind of is like you really don't have to think about the sneaker too much when putting it on foot it's just nice and easy and also the details on it are very well done you can see kind of that suede hits let me get y'all uh, another good angle on the sneaker y'all can see the suede really really nice in person the details especially so that's why I like this sneaker. Good hold for the future, in my opinion. So definitely don't sleep on gray gums. And the next pair I want to show you guys right here. I've mentioned this in plenty of videos before. Um, you obviously, they're not going to be able to tell just from the box since, um, you know, it's just like there's a lot of SBs that have this box that we've talked about recently. They now have recently switched over to, you know, that uh, nice, uh, the, the one I was showing you for the Haritos SB box, kind of that white uh, or kind of like cream colorway with also that gray, uh, you know, Nike and then the swoosh on it as well in gray. But we do have the Why So Sad SB right here. And this is just one that I think is going to continue to rise. Nice icy soles on these. And it just has very 
uh, clean details all over the sneaker, unique insole uh, on each one. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to show you all this. Maybe uh, I'll be able to get some lighting on the inside there, but you can kind of see some text right there uh, from this one. And also, it, I, I think it may have a scratch, well, no, I don't think it's a scratch away swoosh, but you can see kind of a nice uh, yellow outline around that as well. And of course, uh, the embroidered logo there by the heels. So, very clean SB, easy to wear. That's the main thing I've been showing you all about some of the SBs in this video. They're easy to wear, but also very popular colorways, uh, some of which have already done well, like the Haritos SB and this one right here. So mainly, uh, if you have capital and are willing to wait you know, for a pair like this uh, or for the Haritos, very good bets for the future because I don't see them restocking anytime soon. Very limited pairs, so just keep that in mind. And yeah, again, I see, this, this is one of the main reasons I like this sneaker right here is just see, look how that matches with the sneaker overall. Very well done. And this is just, uh, it's another nice touch to an SB. And any time, uh, any time I've seen an SB like this, you know, which are kind of those nice uh, icy soles on them, I'm always going to look at it uh, as a good hold for the future. So I want to show you all this one definitely uh, with some good lighting right there. And I want to show you all this as well. So you can see what I mean. Just such a clean pair, easy to wear. And of course, just kind of the uh, nice details on them as well. You can see that on by, uh, by the heel. And then of course, uh, the tongue tag, very simple design. And of course, the unique insole. There you go. You can see, y'all can see that right there. So very well done sneaker shout out nike and a good hold for the future this is just a small size like a size eight but um you know i, I i've dropped like maybe 20 30 probably 40 of these in high plabs so definitely one of the you know all-time favorites we've had in there and super clean pair to hold on to in the future I, I remember calling these at like 170 they played out really nicely smaller sizes were at like 150 140 at the time and bigger sizes were at like 170 180 now i mean big sizes are like almost 300 dollars. so just get the ones you can now and be patient. And one of the final ones I want to mention right here, I've recently made a YouTube short on the sneaker right here. This is the Nike SB Dunk Low Flash Street, where actually has already made a little bit of progress. And I I, I think this one is going to continue uh, to you know succeed as a pair in terms of like going up to va going up in value because it never was a uh, super high stock again unique insoles on each pair same uh, back by the heel you can see that nice uh, kind of green touch uh, with that dark blue suede going all around the sneaker and of course uh, that embroidered logo by the heel that's another thing we have to mention no icy soles on this pair but uh, definitely one that has a lot of nice uh, you know details on it and also the special box pair is super rare so that's you know going to help the value of this one if the special box pair just continues to go up and up and up then this one will eventually actually uh, follow that pattern and also it has unique laces on it as well so I love when a uh, you know an SB has a lot of uh, details on it things that you know make uh, it more desirable uh, desirable to somebody uh, and also you know the box is nice as well very very uh, simple style but uh, it's just again I think this suede is probably my favorite part of the sneaker how that just uh, you know how this would match uh, and how this you know would sit as a pair in the collection it's very well done and it's actually kind of you know a simple kind of everyday go-to shoe well not everyday go-to um because you know you'd probably want to keep these nice and you know on ice type thing but i love uh, how you can actually see the details and the swoosh how that was kind of you know embroidered on and same uh with this right here very well done so and also i know that uh this like whole sneaker has like a story with like the creator like there has some like some details to his childhood like of course with the fly uh, on the inside representing flash streetwear same with the one embroidered right here so there's a lot of details behind the shoe and a good story behind it from what i know i'm sorry that i'm not fully educated on it i just recently got these in so i understand that but i've had some pairs to review before and other the members and hype labs love these so i'm going to continue to get them uh for you guys and drop those under market we recently uh i think did some pairs for like 170 180 so you know, we'll continue to get some more of those up and another great one to hold for the future. I just think the details on this one are going to continue to make it uh, more desirable uh, Desirable, and as we, you know, get further away from the release date, it's not going to be restocking anytime soon. So uh, I think it's one of those ones that, you know, kind of could get like forgotten about a little bit and slept on. So I really like this one as a hold uh, for the future and don't sleep on SB this year. That's the main thing I'm mentioning. Uh, mentioning. And I also want to show you all uh, this one up close. I didn't really do that because y'all probably looking at this and like, man, this pair isn't really... Uh, as nice as I thought, but look at that. I mean, look how that blue suede hits in person. Details by the heel, tongue tag, everything of the sneakers matching. And that's the, that's the main reason I think this one's a great hold. I mean, just look at that. So great details on this one. Gotta give some shout outs to Nike right there. Really nice suede. That's the main reason I think this one's a hold. But that's pretty much it. If y'all want more content like this, feel free to subscribe and like down below. And if we could hit 200 likes on this video, that'd be great. Again, just, you know, more SBs to hold on to. Pretty much what we got going on. And th these were all for Hype Labs members. Keep in mind. So if y'all want to check us out down below, start sourcing more pairs, learn how to buy it, resell, whatever it may be. Uh, not even just with sneakers, like, you know, loops online, you know, like for cash, so you can like make money that way. Very simple stuff. You just have a little bit of time in your day or even 
and the under market deals we offer um, early information on releases other things like that there is a lot for you guys and you guys can check that all down below different plans we offer see some reviews also so you know we're legit and all that different stuff and again you can get your questions answered on our website things like that just some basic ones so Hopefully that's all helpful to you guys, and I will catch you all in the next video very soon. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what are some of your favorite recent SBs we've had. There's a lot of really good ones on the way. Born and raised SBs, going to be an amazing hold, so don't sleep on that. But we also hit over 500 pairs of Yeezys yesterday, maybe even more because there's still dubs coming in. So yeah, don't sleep on us in Hype Labs, and we'll help you you know, up your resale game or personal collection, whatever it may be. Hope to see you all there down below. Join the wait list. You'll get a response within 24 hours. And again, just some SPs you're holding on to. So I'm Tristan. Thank you guys. And catch you all in the next video very soon. Peace. <laughs>